Hello and happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. Please let me know if you can hear me. I always worry about that, you know, because I always worry about that. <laughs> I mean, my computer tells me the sound is on, but I never know. Anyways, it is Friday. We have huge thunderstorms coming into Texas today. I am actually leaving for a National Scrapbook Day retreat at three o'clock, right when the thunderstorms are supposed to hit. So, <laughs> yay. <laughs> You know, um, it's great to sit inside and craft when it's raining outside, but, you know, when you go like on a retreat, you have to lug all your boxes of stuff with you and then transport it from the car to the venue. And then it's like, if it's raining and thunderstorming, even though there's a portico, it's like, everyone's going to stand in line or wait in line to use it. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of patience needed this afternoon, but, um, uh, Anyways, it's going to be a fun weekend. I always love working on scrapbooks uh, away from the home so I can really focus. And uh, I think I'm going to work on a, a vacation my husband and I had gone on uh, a while back. So that's that. Hey, we got some people in the house. Hey, Michelle, Kathy, uh, Swanee, and uh, Shawnee. I'm sorry. I put the W first. <laughs> Shawnee, uh, Debbie, Denise, Kay, Anna. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. So we have Fun Fold Friday today, and I'm going to do a uh, cascading Z fold. Now, a lot of people have seen cascading Z folds before. However, if you go on Pinterest and you search how to make one, most of them, almost 99% of them start with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And I'm like, I have white for my scrapbooking, but I don't have like Stampin' Up colors. Um, even though Stampin' Up does sell 12 by 12 in our cardstock, that's not the problem. It's just, I don't tend to buy that. I buy the eight and a half by 11. So I thought, hmm, there's gotta be a way to use an eight and a half by 11 and still use the measurements for a 12 by 12. So I got out my scrap paper and I piddled around and I came up with it and I have uh, pictures of the template. So I made a template with pictures with all the measurements. Um, I'm going to try to make this as easy to follow as possible. So um, I'll have the directions down here at the bottom of the screen, but however, they are always on my blog. All right. So um, let me put that up there. Where did it go? There it is. All measurements are always on my blog, creatingwithchristina.com. Now, if you're watching this video many months from now or even years from now, it's going to not be there right away. What you'll need to do is in the search, it says, uh, what are you looking for in the little search bar on the side when you're on your laptop or on your phone? It's at the bottom. Uh, type in cascading uh, Z fold and you'll, you'll find it that way. Okay. Um, make sure we don't have any questions starting off. I think everyone's just saying hi and good morning. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Um, Janet says hello from rainy Virginia. We'll get thunderstorms later too. Yes, Janet. What, um, those of you on the East coast, we we'll always get you started. So it, the mountain air hits our great plains, the great plains of Texas and Nebraska and all that. Clyde collides, makes a big thunderstorm, and then it travels across the country and eventually gets the East Coast. Just love the weather. When it doesn't do that, I'm like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> weather always goes from West to East in America, but we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, our thunderstorms will be hitting Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, Virginia, the Carolinas eventually, but today it's here with me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> A little weather lesson for you. Okay, now let's get back to our cards. So like I said, we're doing a cascading uh, Z fold and we're going to use an eight and a half by 11. Now, the first thing you need is your eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to be putting the measurements down here. So let me go to my banner. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this eight and a half by 11 and we're going to cut it at eight and a half by five inches. Okay, so let me get out my trimmer. And if you don't want to wait for my blog post, because it does take me a little bit of time to get the blog post uh, published as I take pictures of everything and I get it all nice looking. Um, you can write down the instructions as I go along. All right. So let me switch camera angles. There we go. All right. So I've got my trimmer here. All right. I am zoomed in kind of far. Ooh, that looks very yellow. All right. There we go. Now it looks white. Um, eight and a half by five. So our card's going to be five inches tall because I'm going to be putting some flowers 
at the top edge of the cascade. And so that will bring it up to five and a half inches. So a, a card, this card will be traditional four and a quarter by five and a half when you fold it, um, fold it up. Okay. Well, it actually will only be four inches, but anyways, so there is the five inches. Now it tells me that then I take the other piece. So this is my other piece, All right? Here's my five and a half by four. I mean, sorry, eight and a half by five. This I need to cut at five by four. So um, I'm going to turn it this way and make it four inches. That way um, I can use this scrap over here for another piece later. All right. So that this can just go to be used for another card. And now I'm going to rotate it and make it five instead of five and a half, just five. There we go. And again, here's a nice little scrap for later. And we're there. Now, um, what we're going to do now, all right, so now we have these two pieces here. We've got the eight and a half by five, and we've got the four by five. All right, so we've got these two pieces here. Like I said, our card's going to be five inches tall. Uh, no, this piece. This piece we need to score. Now, are we all with me? Remember, if you have a question or you need my attention, put something in front. Uh, so when I scroll through, I can, you know, you either put a question mark or a Q or exclamation point, something to grab my attention. And it looks like everybody's just still saying hi and good morning. Hey, Dorothy, Rosemary, Judith, Janie, Mickey. Hello, hello. First is four inches. Okay, so we're scoring. Get your blade out of the way. Do not want to cut it. We're scoring at four. And then we're going to score at eight. So I need to pull open my bar and go over here to eight. Now, don't turn it around and do four. You'll mess it up because you need this little half inch on the side here. Okay, so four and eight. And that will leave this little half inch. I know it's so hard to see on navy, but okay, there you go. Now you can see it there. Right, put this down for a sec and go back to our instructions. So we scored there. Our next step, we're going to get some glue. And I want to say thank you so much, Marie. Marie's on my team. She lives, um, oh, about a half hour from my house. And she came by to pick up uh, Rhino Ready dyes that uh, anyways, th th that was not important. What's important is she gave me the fine tip glue bottle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I squeezed my uh, multi-purpose glue in here. Oh, I'm just loving it. Oh my gosh. So we just squeeze it. And you got to make sure you keep the lid on this thing though, because that is such a fine tip. It would be hard to get clogged glue out of there. So it just has this little rubber tip. It just goes right on there like that. Thank you so much, Marie. I can't I can't say thank you enough. All right. And now this just goes on there like that. And guess how many inches we are now? <gasps> 12 inches. So now I have a 12 by five, except I noticed for some reason, my five is just a scant, scant bigger. I mean, it is a scant. All right. It'll be all right. Okay. Yay. Okay. So can you see? Yeah. There you go. Ah, so awesome. So awesome. Okay. Now I have what we're going to do now. I have, this is my template. So you're going to see pictures of these templates on the blog. Um, right here, we're going to go up to two and three quarters and make a mark and we're going to cut and this will be scrap. Okay. So now this is Navy. So I need a white, either get a white gel pen or a white pencil. And actually I'm just going to take my template there we go. And just mark it. It's easier. Okay. And I can see that now. Get it back out my trimmer. And now this is how you trim it. Let me close my arm. Are we all with me still? Okay. Here we go. All right. So we've marked two and three quarters and we're going to cut from the top corner down to the two and three quarter mark. I'd like giving y'all time in between to write if you're writing things out. 
Melissa says that little blue bottle is what I use all the time. Yes, I am so excited about having it. I've always meant to get one and now I don't have to because <gasps> my sweet Marie gave me one. Oh, hello, Sally from England. It's 340 in the afternoon there. Well, it is 930 in the morning here in Texas. So <laughs> hello, hello. All right. Um, so we're going. So here's my two and three quarter mark here. And here's my corner. And now what I'm going to do. OK, I'm going to get my score tool out of the way this time. I'm going to stick this up is whoa, you can't see. OK, I'm going to stick this up as far up into that little section that I can. All right. And then I'm going to rotate this. OK. Until I can get it right where I want it. All right. Now let me show you the bottom. OK, so I'm right there. See how that white mark is where the, the groove is and then up here. And now I'm just going to take my blade. Make sure everybody's in its spot. And there we go. This is scrap. Okay, so we're gonna put it over here in our scrap pile. And this is our card base. Check this out. All right. So we are going to have it. Oh, I forget which way I do this. Yeah. Yeah, I want it to open this way. I never can remember. No, it goes the other way. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I never can remember which way to fold it. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way. Um, you just have to turn around. Just be, But what, what does matter is the designer paper that we're going to be putting on here. Okay. So get the snips and get that little piece off. All right. So now we need designer paper. So I do have a template for the designer paper also. And now there is also something very important. The middle is turned around. Okay. See, so notice the, the, um, these two pieces go here. All right. Whoops. Let me get back in the camera. But this piece does not go here. Why? Because when you fold it, it needs to be back here. Okay. It needs to be back here. All right. So that puts it, whoops. So that puts it in the back. All right. So here is our template. They're all three, three and seven eighths. So I'm going to take my designer paper and I'm going to cut strips that are three and seven eighths. And then I've got to mark them to the correct spot where I'm going to cut at an angle for each one. Okay. All right. Now, if you have 12 by 12 uh, designer paper and you just want to cut it all at once and then cut the angles, it won't quite make that angle perfect all the way across. All right. So it's very, it's, it is important that you, unless you're going to cover up the edge, like I am with the flowers. Okay. Cause, so that doesn't matter. You can do it. If you can score, you can cut the diagonal first and then cut the um, columns. But since I am um, doing this eight and a half by 11 thing, not that. All right. So um, I want my middle piece to have the stripes Okay. And I had this scrap and I didn't know if it was big enough. Let me double check. Oh, nope. It's off by an eighth. So can't use that. That's all right. We'll use this one. So we're going to use that one. And then we're going to use this one. Oh, I had a second one. Where did it go? Oh, fiddle dee dee. Um, I am using the Regency Park paper, by the way. Okay. If you haven't seen Regency Park, I'm sure you have. We're about to retire all of our paper. Oh my gosh. Every single uh, designer paper that is in the catalog is just about to retire on May 1st. And then we're getting a whole bunch more paper. And if you notice up here in the corner, ooh, right there, um, I am doing a paper share, which means a paper share is where I order the paper for you, cut it up into uh, sections, uh, quarter packs. This is six, this is six by six, um, or it's six by 12, depending if you buy the quarter pack or the half pack and you get, you get every page in the pack. You just get it either as a quarter or a half. And then I ship them out. So that is a paper share. So basically what you're doing is if you order a half pack, you are sharing with another person. If you order a quarter pack, you are sharing with four people with you and three other people. 
um, that is a paper share. All right, so this that's Regency Park. Love that paper. Sad it's going away, but if you like it, you better get some more now because it once once uh, May first gets here, you will not be able to order anything from the old catalog, mini catalogs, or anything. When they retire, they retire it. That means you cannot buy it. Um, so they have all the brand new stuff for us. Okay. Da, 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 da. Make sure I don't have it. Oh, got um um. Okay, how would you say that name? Elena? Alina? I'm not sure. Anyways, could you use 12 by 12 pieces? Oh, um, you don't have to glue anything if you use a 12 by 12. This, um, I, what I'm doing is for people who don't own 12 by 12 cardstock, um, which I don't own it in the colors. I own it in the white, but not in the colors. And so what I'm doing is using the eight and a half by 11. If you have a 12 by 12, then you just mark it at two and uh, three quarters by five and just cut across a 12 by 12. That's all you have to do. And then score it at four and eight and you'll, you'll be done. So good question. Good question. Yeah. All right. Um, back to this. So we're cutting these at three and seven eighths. So let me do that. Three and seven eighths. Ah, it twisted on me. Darn it. I hope I didn't mess that up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. It's perfect. And three and seven eighths. And three and seven eighths. There we go. All right, so we have that. There for a sec while I clean up again. Now, uh, I can use the template or I can mark. Um, if I'm going to mark, then I need to get out. Um, a pencil again. And this pencil is really dull, but that's okay. Um, and I need a ruler. So let me grab a ruler. There we go. Here's a ruler. And remember, the middle is reversed. The middle is reversed. Okay, so here's the back. This is going to be the back. This is going to be the front. And this is going to be the middle. All right. And so I just put this here. And this is... Um, two and five eighths. Okay. So I just make a little mark there. So I'm just going to make a mark all the way across because it's easier. Okay. And then this side is three and three eighths. And like I said, a picture of these uh, templates will be on the blog. So it'll be easy. And then, so I've got that one. And then this one is cut at four and an eighth and four and seven eighths here. Now I did not write these measurements um, as a thing at the bottom of the page. Um, it was just too much information. Like I said, the, you can see it here in the, on the template. So one more time, that's four and an eighth and four and seven eighths to there to there. Um, across it's three and seven eighths. All right. So I've got those marked. And then this middle one is backwards. This one is four and an eighth on this side and only three and three eighths on this side because like I said, we're going to be putting it on the back side. So it flips the angle around. Okay. All right. Now that I've got it marked, I need my blade again. Everybody still understanding? Do we have any questions? Do you need me to slow down, go back, repeat anything? Okay. Here we go. Now I just take this and I put, I just line that line up in the groove there, right there. Okay. And that's my piece. This is scrap. Okay. That's my piece and that's my scrap and <laughs> thought it could get away from me. Okay. And there's my piece. And there's my scrap. All right. Now that I've got that there, now we're going to do some gluing because we have this fancy glue tip. <laughs> and we just... So pretty. 
Now remember that goes on the back. Okay, so let's do this one. So what plans do you all have this weekend? Like I told you earlier, I'm going scrapbooking. What are you guys going to be doing? It's springtime. I love it. Except you guys in Australia, it's fall. <laughs> I still can't get over that you all are opposite from us. It just cracks me up. All right. So here we go. I can't believe April's over. God, well, it's not quite over, but it's going to be over at the end of the weekend. Monday is the last day of April. And then it's May and then it's the new catalog. Oh my God, there's so many great things. Oh, speaking of catalogs, most of you should have your catalogs by now. If you do not have your catalog yet, uh, send me an email and I will look and see what's going on because you should have your, your catalogs by now. There we go. All right, you ready? Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, can't, uh, for writing a sin, so, so you want to write a note, you want to write a letter. Uh, that's what this piece is for. So now we need to take that middle piece again, except this time we need to do it this way. All right. So get, and usually you'll do it in white. So it doesn't matter because you can flip it over. Whoops. I thought I got a piece of white out. Yeah, I did. There it is. Come here. Oh, fiddle. Come on. There we go. And we need to cut it at three and seven eighths. And then mark it. Well, I'm going to mark it this way and then turn it over. That way the pencil mark will be gone. Okay. There we go. Like I said, you can make the template and then you can make a whole bunch and you don't have to keep measuring. Or if you're just going to make one, just measure the <clears throat> measure and mark the sides and then cut. Okay. And this is going to go right there. My blade makes a dent on, it like pushes the paper down into the groove and then it makes like this lip. And there we go. Smooth that out. Joan says she has a community meeting tomorrow. Michelle is going to look for a sparrow that showed up nearby, a Casson sparrow. Or yeah, Casson sparrow. Cool. I'll have to look that one up. I love Ventura, California's uh, birds. You show the prettiest things. I just have when I look out my window, I see mockingbirds and I see robins and I see bluebirds. Not bluebirds. I'm sorry, blue jays. Uh, what else do I have? Of course, I have the house finch and I love the house finch it has a red belly. Anyways, well, I'm off task. Okay. Looking for questions. <laughs> oh, Jones wants to see her grandson's basketball. Love that. Oh, um, Melanie is mowing and weeding and trimming the yard. Yes. Yard work on a spring day. So pretty. So fun. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Sorry. Back to off task. Let's go back to our card. So now we have the base done. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to have flowers cascading down. Okay. There we go. We have our white in there now. Okay. So now when they open it, you can write, you know, a little message there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put flowers on these two sides, and then I'm going to flip it over and put flowers on this side. Now, I am using the Park, um, Petal Park. Love punches, makes it so fast. I'm also using Sentimental Park for the thanks. Okay, so I've already done all this, so it doesn't take us all day to make this card. Make tons of little flowers. All right, and we're just going to put them on here. Okay. So now remember one thing is you can only go a half inch above where you started. Now, if you pull and you can have it hang off a little cause it's only four inches, but you could only go to like an eighth. All right. So that'll work. I'm going to put this cute little flower right there. Okay. 
So I'm just going to put a line of glue. And you know what else? I'm going to get my silicone mat so that if glue squishes out. Hold on. Where did I put that thing? Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. Shoot. Excuse me. <laughs> For those of you who want to know, I am going to do a video of my new craft room. I did get it all organized, and it's so awesome. Except right now I can't find my silicone mat. What the heck? I know it's in here. There it is. <laughs> um, yeah, you can kind of see behind me. My inks are over here on my left side now. They used to be on my right side. So there we go. All right, and where's that flower I was playing with? Oh, put the lid back on. Don't let that glue dry in that teeny tiny spot. Okay, there we go. And like I said, you can go a little bit over, but not much. All right, that should be enough. Okay, good. And then get another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go big, big, and then I'm going to stick the smaller ones inside. So you get a big, a medium, and a small when you do the punch go. And I did them in uh, the colors of the paper. So I have balmy blue, night of navy. I um, stamped off night of navy to make a second shade of navy. Um, I did all kinds of fun stuff. All right. So there's all my flowers. Okay. So I need another big flower. Let's do this one. And then we'll do this one. There we go. And now go in between. Let's do a dark one. Come here. That's the dogwood. I know it is because it has the little cut in the middle of the leaf. I love dogwoods. I lived in East Tennessee for seven years, seven and a half years. Oh, love the dogwood. Okay. And then I'm going to pop the little ones up on dimensionals, but let me get the rest of these put on here. So I need some glue on this side. You all are going to love this effect when I get it done. The cascading flowers. You may have seen it before, but that's okay. For those of you who have not seen it. <laughs> okay. And like I said, we can only go a little bit over, not much because we're at five. We need, oh, these can go up as high as you want though. It's just this first one you have to watch out for because all the rest of them won't hit the five and a half mark. It's just that first one. So these you can kind of put wherever. Come here. Oh, got it stuck. And go. Oh, I don't have enough for the center. Darn it. I need to make some more, but that's okay. Um, yeah. That's all right. We'll be good. Okay, let's go with this one. And, ooh, let's go with a white one. Yeah. All right. So now look at this so far. Do you love this? So far, so good. Isn't this cool? So now we're going to have flowers going this way. And I have a large one, a medium one, and a medium one. I might, another medium one. I might have enough because these little ones I wanted to pop up on dimensional. So let's, um, let's see what I can do here. We'll put this one in the middle. Okay. And then we can put these like on the side. Hmm. Put this one here. Oh yeah, this will work. Okay. I really should have one more, but whoops, get back in there. Okay. All right. Now look at it. Isn't that fun? Okay, we're not quite done yet. Let's get some dimensionals here. And I'm just going to grab my tweezers. Flip all these little guys over. I have one, two, oh, come on. Three, four, five, six. So I've got enough for two for each side. All right, so one, two, three. Four, five, and six. 
All right, how are we doing over here? Let me check my comments, make sure I haven't missed anything. Awesome, awesome. Oh, thanks, Betty, for the, um, <clears throat> here you guys, I'm going to show this comment Betty put up here. She says, if you pinch off the tiny bit of glue on the tip of your new glue bottle before you cap it, then it won't clog. Hope this makes sense. Yes, it does, Betty. Thank you so much for that little hint. I will start doing that. Um, all righty. Awesome. Awesome. Nope. I don't see any more questions. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm going to take that off and that off. There we go. And we can put, um, actually, let's put this one over here and get a darker one for this side. Is that dark? Nope, that's light blue. Okay, well, we'll put that light blue on here. Okay, let's see what color this one is. That's better. Yeah, we'll do there. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't know. I might put the these little ones. I'm trying to think. Should I mess with putting some on the inside? Yeah, I'll put a couple there. Okay. So we'll go right here. Oops, come on. Oh, yeah, I like that white. I'll watch this one be white also. That would not be good. Nope. Yay. Okay. All right. Now, so awesome. You can see all the dimension there. I love that. So pretty. And then for, so um, add some bling up here, put some rhinestones in the flower middles. Um, I have stamped thanks and cut it out with this um, banner. So that's going to go there. Um, I put some bling around it. I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. Oops, there we go. Boy, someone would really like getting this thanks card. Haha. <laughs> Which I'm sure someone will. All my customers, you know, I try to send you all thank you cards at the end of the month. And where do you think I get those cards from? <laughs> they come from these tutorials. So someone will get this card someday. I'm not sure when. I just pull them up at random when I'm sending them out. Okay, that is so fun. And then it sits like this. And so if I could tilt it for you when it's on, um, you know, a desktop or something, it has this look. Isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, fun fold today. It's called the Cascading Z Fold. That's its official name. Um, some people call it a cascading trifold because it's the three folds. Most instructions start with 12 by 12 paper, but because I didn't have any, I started with eight and a half by 11. You do have to have 12 inches. 11 inches just doesn't divide up evenly by three very well. And then also your card will be kind of skinnier, um, you know. So it really, it really is helpful to have the 12 inches so that you have the three even um, spaces. But you don't have to. You can do whatever you want because, you know, they're your cards. <laughs> oh, you guys are so awesome. So don't forget, Paper Share ends Monday. Um, if you are entering the card challenge for this uh, week, the card challenge is Mother's Day cards. This would make a great Mother's Day card. Oh, yes, it would. Um, Mother's Day card, and you post a picture of it over on Creating with Christina uh, Facebook page. I can't think of anything else. I hope you all have a blessed weekend and make lots of fun things. If you're outside, um, enjoy it while you can, because, you know, spring and summer, crazy weather. Love it. Love it. Okay. I'm just scrolling through here, looking, make sure I don't have any questions and I don't see any. All right. I love you guys. Y'all are the best. See y'all Monday night. Bye-bye. <laughs>